G'day guys, today I'll be showing you how to up or convert your HTC One M8 to the Google Play Edition uh, Lollipop. So this is an updated guide to the one I released a few months ago I believe on the 4.4.4 conversion to KitKat. But now since the RUU for the 5.01 Lollipop update um, has come for the One M8, I'll be showing you how to uh, kind of do the same conversion again. So before we start, you will need a rooted phone or rooted uh, your HTC One M8 uh, and you'll also need S off which can be done on lower H boots uh, quite easily but if you are on the newer H boot like 3.19 you will need to um, use Sunshine to I think it's Sunshine to uh, S off your phone but that will require a one time payment of 25 US dollars which may seem a bit hefty but with all the customization and the extra functionality you get from it um, I think it's totally worth it but luckily I got my device early on and I was able to S off using Firewater. Anyway, uh, other things that we need are the Android tools, which I will quickly show you what they are. It's just the, uh, a mash of files like AAPT, ADB, Fastboot and the respective DLLs. So you'll need all those as well. I'll provide that as the first link in the more info down below. Now, this uh, tutorial will consist of three to four major steps we will need to change the MID so the model ID in case you come from a different variant rather uh, like apart from the AT&T uh, version so if you're an AT&T uh, user of the 1M8 in America uh, you should be fine there and as well as the unlocked versions but uh, you should check by doing a fastboot get var all I'll put that down in more info as well when you're in the fastboot to check what model ID you're on but nevertheless um, Let's get started. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, so, step two, you'll also need to download the, the RUU um, here. And that will take a little while, but you'll need that as well. And before we do that, I forgot to mention, we'll need to change our CID as well, so we can actually flash the RUU. So with all that being said, let's start. So here with your rooted bunny mate, you will need to go ahead and enable developer options. I know some say this is a... Uh, Preliminary, kind of easy, you know, everyone does this. But just in case you haven't, you go to your about phone and tap on the build number seven times, and you'll now see the unlock developer options. I'm gonna tap on that and make sure it's on up here and select USB debugging. Tap OK. Whoops. Okay, like that. And what you want to do next is now plug it into your computer. And you might get a request uh, on this if you want to allow it. But it looks like it's all right. It's connected as a debugging device. So this is the part where we need to, all right, yeah. So you'll need to allow it. Just make sure you check that box and tap okay. And this will allow kind of like a trust thing. So you don't, people don't enter commands into your device unwillingly or unknowingly. So you can just close that prompt. And we want our Android folder open. Now you can extract it anywhere. It doesn't have to be on your C drive. It could be in your documents, you know, anything, anywhere and all you have to do is hold shift and right click and you can select the uh, open command window here so once you have that open all you need to do is head over to this thread which I'll provide in the more info and this is where you'll need to um, paste in a command for your device so you can change the model ID so just scroll down to step 2 change MID and this is what you want to uh, change it to the Google Play MID so I believe it's different from the AT&T version 1200, yeah, it's uh, 1700 instead. So you want to change it to the Google Play MID. So disregard what I said earlier on, you will need it. I'll put an annotation just in case. So just select all that, I hit Control C, and this is how we will need to do it. Following instructions from the thread, this is what we'll need to type in. I'll just zoom in here. I need to type in ADB shell, and this will start up with daemon if it's not already uh, on and you'll need to type in SU as well. Now this will grant root access. As you can see here on the device, you'll need to press grant. So do that before time runs out. And you can see how the prompt has changed to a hashtag sign. And now what we need to do is right click on the command prompt and hit paste. And make sure there's no like uh, gap there or no space and hit enter. Now that looks like it's uh, completed successfully. Type in exit once and now uh, exit again. So now we're back at the C slash Android. So that has already changed your MID. So 
we don't need to be in the Android interface anymore. We can now type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader. Oop, no, we don't. We need to type in adb reboot dash bootloader and hit enter. And that'll take our phone to the uh, fastboot mode like this with fastboot USB. So here we can double check our um, model ID has been set by typing type by typing in fastboot get var all just like that and this will provide you with a lot of information uh, here we are I will have to censor some of this but you can see here the model ID I'll just mark it out the model ID is here and it has changed to 0p6b17000 which is what we intended to do so knowing that that's all good so we have changed it successfully and I'm just going to clear the screen make it easier to read so when you're still in this fastboot USB mode on the red up here you'll need to change your CID to the Google Play Edition so to do that you will need um, all the prerequisites like SOF but we do not need root for this so what you need to do is type in fastboot uh, OEM write CID space and then type in GOOGL001 so that should be exactly eight characters and make sure the it's pretty much all capitals and hit enter it will verify it all the commands and it says input CID is not super CID that doesn't really matter um, I think if you do put a super CID so you can see here I have eight ones uh, it denotes that it can flash anything but I think it gives a more genuine feeling if you type in GOGL001 so that's just me and now we are pretty much finished uh, like typing in the commands most of it so now we need to head over to this thread uh, on XDA developers. I'll just zoom out so you can see the whole thing. Um, so Graphics NYC has uh, put a thread up for the 5.01 um, RUU. So of course you need an SOF for this and to change your MID and CID, which we've just done. And you want to go to his website here. I'll just link the website. So graphicsnyc.com slash m8. PHP. Now this is where you get all your options from. So you can either download a uh, stock non-rooted, so no root, uh, and you'll be able to flash the stock recovery, I think. And no, it has stock stock recovery. Don't worry. And a stock rooted uh, RUU. So it's already rooted, but you don't get the custom recovery. You can just flash that on after. And these are the firmwares for other things, and even stock recoveries and bootloader. And below there is the KitKat version. So Pick whichever one you like. Um, in this case, I'm going to go with the stock uh, rooted. Might as well. Uh, click on the button down here, and this will attempt to download. So, enter a capture here to prove I'm not a robot. Sound. Oops. Sound system. All right. Sorry if there's any background noise. Um, I can hear it, but I don't know if the camera will. So you can see down here in the bottom corner. It is a 622 megabyte file, and it'll take around 10 minutes for me to download, thanks to uh, Vodafone's 4G. Thank you very much. Uh, so I'll be back in 10 minutes, and I'll uh, walk you through the rest of the steps. Alrighty, now that the download has finished, um, 600 megabytes right there, uh, we need to go back to our um, command window here. I'll just zoom in again. I should leave it down in the middle. Righto. So now that our device is still in the fast boot mode, um, what we need to do is get it into the uh, OEM RUU mode. So to do that, we'll need to type in fast boot OEM reboot, and RUU must be in capitals. Just that part, and hit enter. And your phone shall reboot into a silver HTC logo, just like that. And you'll hear your computer chime and all that, uh, saying it has been detected. So that is pretty much all we need, so we leave that right there, and now we focus back on the computer here. So the next command you'll need to type in is type in fastboot flash zip, and leave a space on the end there. And what you want to do is go to where your download is, so I'm just going to go show in folder, and kind of have it side by side so you can kind of see both, like that. And with leaving a space after the word zip, just go ahead and drag in the RUU onto the command prompt. So that way you don't have to like copy it and locate it kind of and type it in all tediously. So press enter and it will start doing its magic 
through the command line. So this will kind of push it onto your device and will start flashing itself, you could say. Um, so now it's sending the zip file here. Uh, this part will probably take a while. I give it like 15, 20 seconds to half a minute. And your device will still look like this for a little bit. Alright, so it took 25 seconds. And you'll be presented with this error right here. Uh, remote 90 HBoot pre update. That just means it needs to flash itself again um, after, well, before updating your bootloader. So press the up arrow on your keyboard to get to the previous command and just hit enter again. So that'll just pretty much complete the same command and it will have to send the zip file over to your device again. So we'll give that half of a minute and you'll see how. Uh, how much longer it'll actually take for it to flash uh, each of the image images so eight of them zero to seven um, and after that which only takes around I would say less than ten minutes and I'll show you what happens afterwards so this will now start flashing the all the things that we need so the boot radios and I also would like to say that um, I'll have to annotate this because it's a bit too late. If your device is, um, I don't know, has a unique radio or something, and because last time I flashed the Google Play Edition, I had to remove the radio due to it like not being able to work with um, the Australian networks here. So depending on where you are, you may need to reflash um, just that radio image. So fingers crossed, maybe it'll work this time. But the Wi-Fi worked, so. All I needed to do was fix the um, uh, cellular connectivity. So system is the largest by far. And it shouldn't take that long. Okay, so it's finished here. A total of 66 seconds or 93. So that is that is less than a minute. But all this you know command typing does take a few um, minutes of its own, I suppose. So let me just zoom in back here. Next, what you'll need to type when your uh, phone is still like kind of stuck in the screen. It's not really stuck, it's just waiting for our final manual input to say, give it the OK, uh, so it can go ahead and reboot. So, at this point you would like to check for any errors, but according to this, it's uh, OK, so we'll type in fastboot, reboot, just like that. So fastboot commands work in this uh, RUU state. So let me just zoom out now, and our phone will just begin to restart. So. I guess I'll be back when it does, because the first boot does take a little while. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, the um, first boot has finished up. I'm just going to tilt it back up and adjust the camera lens so I can get a better grip. So, now it says welcome. I'm going to close the laptop too. So, welcome it says. This is the new um, kind of setup screen for Lollipop. I do like it, so I'm going to select English Australia. Um, Oh, it looks like the um, network or mobile network has worked, so you don't need to um, delete the radio file out, which is fantastic. So, um, she'll never mind, I'll connect to all this later. And the cool thing about this, you can um, tap phones with your existing phone, like the Z3, which there will be an, uh, a full review, not really, uh, a review coming out soon. So, like, you kind of tap it like here, it says tap and go. So quickly copy any Google accounts and backed up apps and data, so along with your Google account. So example, if this was like the M7 and I just got the M8 with Lollipop, I can pop tap this on the back and I'll transfer the Google information from this device to this device without having to really sign in again. And, and so it's pretty much like an easy setup uh, thing, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So. This will just wait a sec, we'll get the chance to add our Google account, but we'll skip this anyway. Uh, name Doge Meme. Very nice. So we can already feel and see the materialness of this, uh, of the new uh, update, right? <laughs> Lost for words here. So this is our Google Now launcher, you can see all this, and now the best part about this. Uh, since it is a conversion, so fully kind of made into a Google Play Edition, you will be, be able to check and receive for updates direct from Google or HTC or whoever manages it, because it's a bit all over the place at the moment. So 
if 5.1 comes out, according to uh, several sources, in February, you'll be one of the first in line to get it for your Google Play Edition M8. So any um, kind of software updates will definitely show on this device. And so that's about it. So thank you guys for watching, and um, hope you enjoyed this educational video. Uh, see, Android version 5.01, Lollipop. So uh, if you did like this and it was helpful to you, uh, please leave a like down below. Uh, it shows support, and I do feel gritty inside, so it gives a smile on my face at least. And this will be able to like, so you can share it with other people when you like it and all that. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope this worked out for you guys. If you need any help, uh, uh, leave a comment down below, and uh, if we need to go into uh, in in-depth help, I could make a video on the subject. So yeah, any help problems, leave it down in the comments below. If I can't help you, uh, definitely go to the thread uh, on XDA where other people, maybe more experienced than me, can help you with that. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in an upcoming video.